Do you know what this means, ladies and gentlemen? The microorganisms that were part of running ancestors of ours are still here. Nothing's created and nothing's destroyed. So when I put my compost that is now totally back to dust, earth, and I put it in my garden, what am I doing? Let's have a look. Here's plant. Here are the roots of plant. I put my compost in. What am I putting into the garden? I'm putting probably millions of microorganisms. Now they play another role. Now they break down the heavy metals and the minerals in the soil and make them available for the roots of the plant. But not only that, they protect the plant from harmful pathogens. And the plant loves those microorganisms. The plant knows the health of the plant is dependent on them. So 50% of the fuel that the plant makes from photosynthesis, it sends back down to feed those microorganisms. It's almost like, please stay, I'll feed you. I'll give you something nice to eat. Beautiful illustration of giving and receiving. That's why organically grown fruit and vegetables has a far higher nutrient content because of the microorganisms in the soil that break down the minerals and the heavy metals in the soil and make them available for the roots of the plant. So my cabbages, my cauliflower were so high in nutrients because of the microorganisms that were in my soil, nothing ate my plants. <laughs> a similar thing happens in our gut. In our gut, in our small intestine, it's lined with little things that look just like the roots of a plant. And do you know they play a similar role to the roots of a plant? They're called villi. And instead of a green blood network going over it, as in the roots, it's red. Last night we talked about how similar chlorophyll is to human blood. In the gastrointestinal tract, this is where the food comes down, there are little microorganisms. Did you know that the microorganisms in our gut, they're the largest amount of microorganisms in the whole of the body. Here they are, their name is, the most common are Lactobacillus acidophilus and Bifidus bacterium. I was giving a lecture in Fiji and they started laughing. They said, can you speak English? <laughs> Lactobacillus acidophilus and Bifidus bacterium. They're the two main ones. They're the two permanent ones that live in the gastrointestinal tract. Do you know they play a similar role as do the ones in the soil? They break down some of the nutrients in the foods and make them available for your roots, your villi. Enzymes in the mouth break down starch. Enzymes in the stomach break down proteins. Enzymes in the small intestine break down the final breakdown of starch, protein and fat. So what do the Lactobacillus acidophilus bifidus bacterium do? They release something out of the food that those other enzymes don't. They release the B vitamins. Wow. That's why in your cultured foods, like your sourdough bread, like your yogurt, like your sauerkraut, they're high in B vitamins because that's what these healthy bacteria do. How important are B vitamins? Well, let's, we have to uh, um, magnify inside the cell again. Inside the cell, did you know there's a whole city inside that cell? Inside the cell, there are little furnaces, maybe two or three, where the glucose and the oxygen are burnt as fuel. Let's magnify into that little furnace, into the little energy cycle. It's called the Krebs cycle. So the glucose goes in, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, approximately nine little chemical reactions before the energy comes out. We've got 100 trillion cells in the body. So that's the magnification we're looking at. Every single one of those chemical reactions requires a B vitamin. Okay, let's put all this into perspective. Let's say someone's low in lactobacillus acidophilus bifidus bacterium. They won't be getting their B vitamins. And if they're not getting their B vitamins, the energy cycle in their cell isn't going to be running efficiently. And what are their energy levels going to be like? <sighs> it's the most common complaint that I get from people, I've just got no energy. Hmm? Why? 
ladies and gentlemen, we should leap out of bed in the morning, whether we're nine or 90. If you don't, put the detective hat on, why not? Is it because you're low in B vitamins? Why are you low in B vitamins? Oh, is it because you're low in lactobacillus acidophilus bifidus bacterium? Why are you low in B vitamins? I mean, lactobacillus acidophilus. Well, let me tell you some of the things that wipe them out. Refined sugar does a great job. Caffeine, alcohol, tobacco, they all do a very great job. But there's one drug that, that's the best at wiping these guys out, and it's antibiotics. One lady said to me, oh, well, I get a tick for all that. <laughs> Rudyard Kipling wrote a whole poem on it. I won't give you the whole poem, but I'll give you the first stanza. I have six trusty serving men. They taught me all I know. Their names are what, why, when, where, how, and who. Hmm? Take your six trusty serving men with you everywhere you go. And if the specialist gets impatient at your questions, Arise, politely excuse yourself, leave, and don't pay the bill. Hmm? Because you're employing him. Would you pay the plumber if he didn't plumb his plumbing properly? We, the consumer, have a lot of power, more power than we think. Are you starting to see, ladies and gentlemen, that rather than being the enemy, these guys are responsible for the life cycle on planet Earth. They are not the enemy. And if this guy's out of control, the detective hat has to be put on. Why are they out of control? No wonder Florence Nightingale said that Louis Pasteur's theory was the theory of a man of a very unstable mind. She had a remarkable effect in that hospital, about 80 years before antibiotics were discovered.